Brain SPECT Imaging is a nuclear medicine study that looks at blood flow and activity patterns in the brain. It's a powerful tool that provides answers to mental health problems and helps clinicians ask better and more targeted questions. Joining me once again to discuss this technology is founder and CEO of Amen Clinics, Dr. Daniel Amen. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So as a world-renowned physician and psychiatrist, at what point do you recommend a patient should have SPECT imaging done? Well, if you don't know what's going on with a patient or you're not sure, that's when I think SPECT can add so much useful information. I mean, when I first started doing it in 1991, I had a very busy practice with a lot of patients who were very complicated. And with complicated patients, spec just shines. I remember seeing this one boy from the San Joaquin Valley in California, and he had problems with attention and a low IQ. He scored at 63, so normal is 100. And so he was struggling in school and had problems with his temper. And when we scanned him, he had overall low activity in his brain. Now, somebody could just say, well, he's retarded, and that's the problem. But it doesn't tell you why. And we figured out he was living around a lot of pesticides. So we got him out of that environment, stimulated his brain, and the next year, he tested with an IQ of 103. It was so exciting, and I have so many cases like this in my head, because when we first started doing imaging, I got no end of criticism. Uh, you know, why are psychiatrists looking at the brain? And then my thought is, well, why aren't we looking at the brain? Because, you know, if you're dealing with depression, or you're dealing with attention problems, or you're dealing with temper problems, those are brain-based problems, and when you look, it helps you understand what you're dealing with. So I would imagine you get a lot of referrals from other doctors when they reach a point where they're just not sure what's going on. Well, that's the perfect time to refer. So I have another case of a woman by the name of Stephanie. And Stephanie had been diagnosed with ADD by six different doctors in the San Francisco Bay Area. And she finally got a hold of a copy of my book, uh, Healing ADD, and she said, well, maybe I have a different type. And so she referred herself to our clinic. And when we scanned her, what we found is she had a big hole in an area of the brain called the cerebellum. And I'm like, wow, Ritalin doesn't help that. Right. What we found is she had a tumor the size of a lemon occupying the space of her cerebellum. And when they took the tumor out, her brain got so much better and she got better. How do you know unless you look? See, I say psychiatrists make diagnoses just like we did in 1841 when Abraham Lincoln was depressed. You know, Lincoln had two episodes of significant depression in his life. And, you know, what, how'd they diagnose him? They talked to him and they look for symptom clusters. That's exactly what's going on today. And it's just wrong because we have tools now that help us look. So if we can look at what's going on, it helps give us more information. I mean, it's not the whole answer, but it teaches us to ask better questions, like why does she have a hole in her brain? Or why does this little boy have overall low activity in her brain? And then when you find the answers to the questions, you can target treatment individually to their brain. It just makes a huge difference. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise and your passion with us today. Thank you. For more information on SPECT imaging, be sure to visit us online at amenclinics.com. Thanks for watching.